Okay, so nice day for a little project. Um, I'm going to be making a tapered hiking quilt. Um, <clears throat> tapered full length rather than straight and then tapered at the foot box. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just going to do it that way. Um, so uh, the top is going to be 58 inches wide um, and then the bottom is 48 inches wide. So there's a 5 inch taper. Um, on either side um, and then the whole length is going to be the finished should be about 70 inches um, I'm going to do a uh, caro step baffle um, each of the baffles is going to be 8 inches long um, with a 6 inch space in between um, so and my plan is to um, basically do uh, the inside is a light green and then the outside is going to be a dark blue um, I got those materials from uh, Ripstop by the Roll um, and um, it's the one ounce Hyper D um, material that they have so um, this is my first time making a, a quilt I've made a couple of backpacks um, and a couple of tarps but this is the first time doing a quilt so uh, wish me luck um, the plan here is <clears throat> to cut out the dimensions of the inner piece, the light green, um, to these exact dimensions, 48 on the bottom, 58 on the top, and 70 inches uh, in length. Um, and then I'm going to cut out the, the dark blue piece um, an inch wider on the sides, um, and then because I've got need for... Um, the draw cords top and bottom um, I'm gonna do those another two inches taller so a full 74 inches tall um, is what those are gonna end up being um, so we'll see if this if this works my fabric is actually 60 inches wide so um, it it may be a little tight um, I don't know we'll we'll see and and if it is a little tight then this number here is going to end up uh, becoming just a little bit less, um, which should be fine. Maybe it'll be end up being 57 inches said and done. Uh, we'll find out. Um, <clears throat> but so the idea that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inside piece, sew all of my baffles to it, um, and then sew all the baffles to the outside piece. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the sides just going to roll those over um, and create a, a nice hem along the sides and then I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to roll that up um, and create a channel at the same time so I'll, I'll, I'll do a double stitch um, on the bottom uh, with a channel um, so so basically what the way it's going to happen is the side is going to get rolled in creating a hem for the end of the channel and then the bottom will, will, will roll up into uh, leaving leaving a space for the for the draw cord, um, and then same thing for the top. But I'm going to do the top after I stuff um, the inside. So I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, it sounds about right, so it'll probably it'll probably work, um, and we'll see. So uh, one other thing, baffle uh, baffle size is going to be 14 inches square. Um, and then um, I'm going to leave the sides basically open at the top it's 8 inches tapered down to like I don't know a couple of inches down here at the bottom um, so the baffle like putting in individual little horizontal baffles in here um, they get a little bit too small for to, to be of any use um, so I'm, I'm not really going to worry about those and I'm actually going to use these side pieces um, when I'm stuffing as a, a way to kind of um, I'm going to stuff the, like, I don't know, maybe a third of my stuffing down each side and then put another third into the middle and then, uh, and then I'll sew the top and then I'll, um, try and redistribute or distribute all of the down around. So, um, I don't know, that's it. Uh, baffle, I'm sorry, uh, the loft size that I'm looking for is going to be about two and a half inches. Um, so this should get me down to about 20 degrees or so, hopefully. Um, and 
yeah so I've got 15 ounces of 850 um, duck down um, and uh, again that's from ripstop by the roll and uh, we'll see how this turns out all right all right so before I started laying out my um, my pieces my inner and my outer um, parts of my shell I um, I just wanted to check the dimensions of the pieces that I had um, and it looks like ripped up by the roll actually hooked me up on this light green fabric um, because let me move this, uh, this tape measure down to the end and I'll show you why so right here the green is about almost 82 inches which is if I got two yards two yards is you know 72 inches plus a little extra um, which is normal but uh, 10 inches more is is quite a bit more so um, and then the, the dark blue here is you know six foot three seventy five inches um, so what this is actually telling me is that I'm actually going to make the inside um, out of the the blue and then the outside is going to be uh, the light green um, just simply so that I can get those uh, get a little bit of extra length on the overall um, quilt um, so that I can actually roll up the ends like I had talked about earlier the only difference is that the inside is now going to be the dark and the outside is going to be the light um, and then and then you'll see the the light green rolled over um, over the blue on the inside so um, yeah I just wanted to point that out um, that and the fact that rip stop by the roll um, when I first started actually using their using their products they they had kind of like these the the ends where they cut were uh, kind of actually a little bit uh, uneven um, which is fine you know you you usually straighten it out on your own um, but they've actually be, been um, cutting these really straight now so I'm actually going to I'm just gonna check for square um, and if it's even you know for the most part square I'm just gonna use it so and then uh, so that I don't have to cut off any um, from the ends and I can actually you know use right to the end so um, so yeah I just wanted to quick like point that out um, and uh, and away I go all right all right so if you're anything like me you've uh, you're probably gonna buy a full sheet of um, no see and mesh for your baffling um, just so that you can have like a little bit extra for whatever sort of uh, projects you've got coming out down the, down the, down the road um, so instead of buying the the pre-cut uh, widths of baffling so um, that's what I did is I, I purchased this full sheet and now I'm gonna cut off some um, some widths and I just kind of wanted to like I don't know share this little bit with you um, what I did was I took my sheet folded it in half um, and then aligned the end you can see here I've got the end um, and I've aligned it with the edge of my counter um, and then I'm taking this six foot straight edge which um, if you don't have one you should you should uh, seriously think about getting one especially if you're doing this sort of um, these sort of projects uh, on a regular basis even still they're handy to have around the house um, but this is six feet long um, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, align it, make sure that it's parallel with this edge. I'm going to measure over three inches um, so that I've got a finished, once the baffle is sewn in, I'm going to have a finished two and a half inches worth of baffle. So you've got a quarter inch seam allowance on either side um, so, so that um, in between each baffle, uh, the quilt is going to loft up to, you know, uh, the three-inch range. So, um, so 
Let's check and make sure that this is uh, three inches off of the edge of the counter, three inches and three inches. Um, and then for this, I'm gonna take this handy dandy little cutter. Um, it's a rotary blade um, and just gonna run it right down the straight edge. And it should Boom. Should be done. And look at that. Nice. Now just to kind of you know do a little proof. Yeah, that's three inches, buddy. So um, I'm gonna do that uh, and then I'll come back and I'll just cut these into eight inch lengths. Um, and then I'll have all of my baffles cut and ready to be sewn onto my um, onto the inside um, of my shell. So uh, you'll see that in in just a moment. So here's a little bit of an update. Um, I've got my light green and dark blue. They're all cut out. All of the pattern is marked for all of the baffles. You can see on the dark blue. Um, I just got done um, sewing that in um, and I took off um, all of the blue tape from this side. Um, but so there's my baffles sewn in. Um, and I'm actually glad that I cut these at three inches because in trying to do a quarter of an inch um, seam allowance over here, um, that's a little bit small, um, especially with my walking foot. Um, for whatever reason, it started, um, it started trying to pull it in. Um, so uh, the way around that was to give it more of a seam allowance. So what I'll end up having, I think, um, is probably about a two inch um, two inch baffle uh, said and done um, but th that should all line up um, and I, I actually just laid it out like this just to double check um, it should all line up that baffle there goes to this um, piece of blue tape um, and all of that sort of stuff so right now I've just got to simply go through the painstaking task of of sewing the two pieces together um, Sewing all of the baffles on the, on the one side um, was actually f relatively easy. Um, it was just more time consuming, um, but I'm I'm anticipating the uh, the actual sewing of the blue piece to the green piece to be a little bit more difficult um, and probably take a little bit more time as well. Um, so I don't know. Yeah. So this is uh, just a just checking in and, and uh, showing you the, the progress and um, so there alright catch you back in a little bit alright here it is it's night time see um, it's night time and I'm getting ready to start uh, stuffing this thing up um, I have all of the baffles sewn together um, each of the sides hemmed over um, and then the bottom edge is also folded over. I'll get a close-up on that. So here you go. You can see I've got a double stitch running in both directions um, and the bottom is rolled over to create a channel down in there and I'll, I'll run a, um, a shot cord through there um, and then once I do that I'll give it like a, a quick little stitch in here just to close up the hole a little bit so that the um, the uh, um, the shot cord doesn't feed back through um, but so um, what I did for the sides all the way around so all the way around the blue piece is just smaller than the uh, the green piece um, and 
what I did was I folded it over to where it met and folded it over again all the way around um, and then and then ran the double stitch so once I get this all stuffed up um, that's what I'll do with uh, with the top um, and then I'll just have the snaps to put on and the shock cord to put in um, and I'll be in business so yeah here we go Okay, so here it is, finished product. Um, this is my uh, tapered uh, hiking quilt um, that you've obviously been watching for the past couple of minutes. Um, and I am finally done with this thing. Um, and after, after just a few hours, I, I actually finished it up last night, except for the, um, the shot cord. Um, but, you know, everybody was sleeping, um, so I didn't want to, like, you know, shoot a video and then w chance waking people up. So um, here I am right now. I've got the shot cord in. I did that this morning. Um, I've got the, the, the down actually pretty well um, evened out throughout the, the, the bag, but um, but it's it's going to need a little bit more um, maneuvering. Um, like I can I can get a little bit more up here in the neck area, but um, in any case. Uh, it's it's a it's a done deal. So um, I'm super excited with the way that this thing came out um, because it's um, it's 24 and a half ounces uh, with about three inches of loft. So this thing's going to get me down to like you know uh, 20 degrees or so. Um, and it uh, it's it like I I cannot wait to uh, to try this thing out um, and give you an update on, on how it works. Um, but so, so it's finished dimensions. Um, it's 58 inches at the top or at the at the neck, um, and then down at the foot is 48 inches, um, and it's a, a consistent taper along the sides. Um, and um, I I I chose that simply because I don't know. I guess I wanted it to be different, um, and I didn't. I don't know why I didn't want to go to straight down and then taper in just at the feet, um, but I didn't. So uh, this is what I've got. So, but it actually um, works incredibly well um, for me. Um, so, so let me run through uh, some some of the features here. Um, chop cord again, top or at the neck and at the feet. Um, one single snap here at the neck. Um, and then three down here at the feet coming up about 30 inches or so um, so that it's basically right behind the um, the lower like the, the middle of the calf area or so uh, middle of the calf uh, behind the knees um, and then like I can cinch that right down um, creating a nice foot box no big deal Caro step baffling, um, so I didn't actually have to weigh out the, the down or anything, um, which was a huge plus. I think actually I might, if I make one of these again, because um, I'm going to need something for the summer, uh, next summer, um, so I think maybe I'll make another one. Um, but I'm going to try making, uh, since this is tapered, um, I'm going to try making um, complete uh, baffles running down vertically. Um, obviously at a wedge and if I just simply keep the like if I keep the proportions the same um, and yeah if I keep the proportions the same it should be close enough to say that each baffle will be the same amount so if I have five baffles wide I should be able to fit you know another um, same amount of, of duck down anyway um, so this is Eight eight hundred uh, fill power duck down, not goose down, um, but duck down. Um, I got it from Ripstop by the roll, um, just just like everything else here, um, and it was uh, for a three ounce bag, twenty five dollars. Um, 
So I had to get uh, five bags of that. So 125 bucks uh, for uh, duck down, and then the the fabric was like I want to say that it was like five bucks a square yard, or uh, I'm sorry, not a square yard, but a, a, a running yard. So um, so and I got two yards of each color. Um, hindsight, I probably should have, like I lucked out. Um, I probably should have actually gotten maybe three yards to have a little bit extra because I don't actually have a stuff sack, which is fine because I don't actually use a stuff sack. I just sort of stuff it into my backpack and, and whatnot. But um, if you want a stuff sack, I'd, I'd recommend doing uh, three yards um, for each color or each side. Um, so anyway, let me get in this, this thing and show you how, how it works. Um, so I just snapped the feet, cinched it up, pull it up around my feet, and then I lay back. Um, and then this thing is super warm, super warm. Three inches of loft, shoot. Up around the neck, and man, you start sweating in no time. This is, oh. So the, I'm, I'm uh, 5'6", and 185 pounds, and this thing fits perfectly well. Um, and the taper, again, the consistent taper is actually really nice. Um, there's not too much fabric around my, around my hip area, um, which is good. Um, and then, like, you can, you can see, like, if I, if I even roll onto my side, I don't have... I still don't have, um, I don't have space for an air gap. Um, so, so that is, like, this thing is amazing, especially for 24 and a half ounces. I don't know if I said that already, but for 24 and a half ounces, for something that's going to get me down to, you know, 15 degrees, 15, 20 degrees, uh, maybe 15 is a little bit, uh, Hopeful, but say 20 degrees. If it gets me down to 20 degrees, this is this is going to be perfect for for this upcoming fall. Um, and I cannot wait, cannot wait to get it out. Whew, I'm already starting to sweat. I cannot wait to get this thing out um, and and test it out and uh, and um, get back to you with a review on it. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a, a, a cool little project that doesn't cost you too much, um, but you're going to get a lot out of it, this is a, this is a pretty, pretty easy enough um, project for you. Um, the only difficulty is actually um, with the, uh, the baffles, like the Karo Step baffles. For some reason, it like... I've, I've been sewing for a while, um, I've made a few um, backpacks and, and uh, um, tarps and, and what have you, so, um, but this was my first thing sleep system, system wise, um, so I had a little bit of experience going into this, but um, these Caro baffles can be a little time consuming um, and a little, a little challenging when you're kind of um, sewing both sheets together. Um, they're not so difficult when you're when you're sewing them to the first sheet, but when you're sew starting to sew them together, it becomes a little bit a little bit different. But um, in any case, this is it. Um, it it turned out far better than I actually uh, thought that it was going to. Um, and and shoot, I. Uh, I am super excited um, to be to be able to like well I'm super excited to um, with with the way that this thing came out um, super super excited um, yeah I couldn't be happier so in any case I hope you um, you learned something maybe uh, from this from this video if you uh, and I hope you liked it um, so. I don't know.
If you'd like to see more stuff like this, maybe maybe me making a backpack or something, um, just let me know in the comments, and I'll um, uh, I, I've got a backpack uh, coming up um, that I'm gonna that I'm gonna make, um, and um, I'll show you how I do that too. So, um, but yeah, this is this has been a great a great little project, um, and I and I hope I I explained it. Um, at least somewhat well enough for for somebody to get the gist of what I'm doing and and um, maybe you can uh, figure out how to do it yourself um, or help you figure out how to do it yourself. So um, yeah, 24 and a half ounces uh, for a 20 degree um, hiking quilt. You know you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. So. Um,